So today I want to bring a really important subject out on the table. As women, we teach men, male, energy, masculine, doesn't really matter, feminine or masculine, but we teach those of us that are in this category, teach our spouses, our brothers, our children to believe that the male uh, counterpart is superior to the female counterpart. And as a result, there's a lot of misunderstanding and a lot of bad feelings in the, the, the it, everywhere. I mean, you know, men are feeling like women are not very nice and, you know, they're kind of pulling the feminine card on them and calling them out, you know. And a lot of men are really upset right now because they don't like this, the terms and condition Mars and Gemini. You know, I can just go on and on about Mars and Gemini right now and the, and the effects it's going to have on us. And it is going to be massive because it's a seven month transit, but, or eight month transit, but we're one month in, so we got seven more months. So many of us are just really kind of looking at our relationships, including myself, my previous podcast, where I'm saying my husband's getting ready. To, he, he's got a one way ticket to the mainland and, you know, and I'm kind of glad he's going. Not because I, I want him gone, but because, you know, he needs to go away and he needs to kind of collect himself because one of the issues that's happening even in our relationship, and I think it's universal across the board is that we are coming at this from a perspective that men have been in charge. Men have been largely the breadwinners, a paycheck, and a sperm donor. There's been several things that we as women have tolerated. We have been, and please forgive me for the way I'm going to say this, but it, it's, it's true. Many of us ha have prostitution agreements, if you will, where we live with our husband who provides for us and we clean and, and cook and different things and you know we're available in the bedroom uh that somehow for me this has really come into question and especially since i'm in an, a situation where i'm experiencing loss of a relationship in a way Maybe not loss at all, because perhaps the, the clarity both he and I gain will help save our relationship. I don't really know yet. We haven't. That's yet to be seen. But what has happened between us is that I've treated him largely like a little boy. I've done his laundry. I've kept his house clean. I've taken care of things, matters large and small, whenever they've been needed. I've loved being the hero. I've loved coming forward and having the answers for everything. <laughs> and now I don't have the answers for me in that sense, right? I, I've, I've taken from me in such a way that I'm sitting around with throat cancer. What can you do besides just be honest with yourself? I taught him how to treat me. His mom taught him how to treat me. We as women are culpable. We treat our little boys like they're our little princes. And rightfully so, they are but we do so at our own expense. As women, we forego ourselves for our children. And as a result, we have a lot of men right now that are fairly naughty and childlike. And we have a lot of women equally fairly naughty and childlike. A lot of mental health, borderline uh, uh, psychopathy, uh, you know, emotional, physical abuse happening in relationships in a, in a heavy handed way. And there's a reason for it. And these eclipse, these eclipse energies that are coming up, right? They're really bringing that forward. And we wonder why we have pedophiles. Well, if you're treating your husband like a little boy and you sleep with him, are you not sending a message to your child, your other children? Yes, you are. And we do it so subconsciously, so unaware, so unenlightened in a way. And so I really like women and men to connect to this truth. Leave your comments. Tell me your story. Participate in developing this dialogue because I think it's kind of gross. And I know for myself, I'm not male or female. I haven't, uh, I, I lost my female organs to cancer when I was in my 20s, okay? And so... 
as I have told others, you know, I, I'm, I'm not male nor female, and, and please don't put me in any of those categories. And, you know, I know there's a lot of kickback right now, you know, fundamentalist Christian kinds of en energies where they want us to define as male and female and connected and doing things on the basis of we're supposed to. But don't forget, I got myself a nice prostitution job. I certainly am aware of it. And in order for my marriage to become real, we have to become real about what it is about. And I'm no longer in agreement with something I agreed to a long time ago. I want my relationship to work, but I don't want the mental health issues that go with it. And so with that, I ask that you hit the like, share, and subscribe, and join me in developing this storyline. We need to develop it. Thank you so much for joining me.